The NBA trade deadline is about two weeks away, and with that, we need to get to work. There's a lot of names on the market, however, not the big names that we're used to seeing. The biggest name out there that's most likely to move looks to be Jeremy Grant or maybe a Russell Westbrook. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Upside Sports Network. My name is Michael. Trade deadline season is here. Uh, deadline is February 10th this year, and there's a, quite a few names that are on the market. Let's dig into some of those. We've already mentioned Jeremy Grant and Russell Westbrook. Uh, the Mavericks have had two names bandied about, Jalen Brunson and Dorian Finney-Smith. Other names are going to be Ben Simmons out there. Bradley Beal, for those of us of trade deadlines past, he may finally see his name uh, move this deadline. Uh, he has a player option next season, and uh, Washington seems to slowly be fading. Uh, after a very hot start to the season, uh, they've really faded off in the Eastern Conference and could look to finally trade him, even uh, especially considering he could be a free agent at the end of the season. Other names to look at on the trade market are going to be De'Aaron Fox. While he's never developed into that superstar level point guard uh, that Sacramento was hoping he would be when they signed him to that massive contract, uh, he's still a very serviceable player, 20-point-a-game guy, eight assists, a few rebounds a game, and high-quality defense at that point guard spot. He's not really a type of guy you want to build your organization around as a number one alpha dog. He's not really a superstar level player. You could convince me as a third star level player, he could be out, uh, could be had. And so with Sacramento fading as well, um, I expect them to finally unload some pieces. They pulled themselves out of the Ben Simmons talks. And so with uh, De'Aaron Fox and other pieces on that roster, Harrison Barnes, uh, Buddy Heald, Rashawn Holmes, that all could be moved for valuable draft assets. Uh, Sacramento could look to turn the page and quickly. If you see them trade De'Aaron Fox, that signals everybody else is likely to be gone in the near future. Uh, Buddy Heald is probably the most value out there as far as a three-point shooter, but his contract is kind of the albatross in the room. Is it really going to fetch them a first-round pick that they're asking for? Young pieces that they have on their roster, uh, Davion Mitchell and Tyrese Halliburton, uh, they have seem to have been in the uh, trade talks as well for Ben Simmons, but like I said, they pulled themselves out of it. They want to hang on to those assets, and so I expect them to develop around those two pieces going forward. Let us know in the comment section what you think about the possibility of a De'Aaron Fox trade or of a Bradley Beal trade, Jeremy Grant, Ben Simmons, whoever you think could possibly be moved. Teams to watch around the NBA trade deadline, the Dallas Mavericks, Indiana Pacers, Sacramento Kings, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, Washington Wizards, uh, any one of those teams, Philadelphia 76ers as well, could look to shake things up as the trade deadline passes this year. Uh, they've got pieces both to trade, both from an expiring contract phase, and also teams that are just showing poor performance that need to turn the page and try to get some younger assets, mainly looking at the Indiana Pacers, uh, the Washington Wizards, and the Sacramento Kings. Let us know in the comments section what trades you see happening during this trade deadline season, and stay tuned for videos on the trade deadline as we look at some of the players on the market this year. Thanks for joining the Upside.